Welcome back everybody. In today's episode of Cooking with Kirby, we're gonna be smoking up some beef back ribs on my pit boss, Austin XL. Last year in my trip to Texas with, the, with my boy over there at smoking and grilling with AB, it was, it was an awesome experience, you know, to actually try some Texas style barbecue. And we went out to Franklin's and we tried those dino ribs. So was, man, those things were fantastic. I seen some beef short ribs on sale and you know what, I, I couldn't pass it up. So I asked the butcher, hey, can I get the whole plate? Don't cut it, just I want the whole thing connected. So that's what we're gonna be doing today and that's coming up. Since you're here, hit the like and subscribe button and make sure that the notification bell is ring. Check me out on social media. That way you can get notification of all my new recipes. All right, so I got a nice beef back. This is a chuck back uh, beef rib. Um, I went ahead and trimmed up all the excess fat. Add some excess fat back here. I am going to be leaving on the, uh, the membrane. Um, this membrane actually helps cook the, the, the ribs, makes it a little bit more softer. So on beef, I leave it on um, and then we'll just pull it off when it's done. It's, it, it pulls off really easy. Um, but what you're going to notice, you're going to notice some fat, depending on the butcher, you know, where you get them from. I got these over here at Vons. I don't have too many uh, choices uh, when it comes to getting meats and stuff like that. Um, this was just picked up at Vons. This is how they leave them. And you know, there was a bunch of fat back here. Uh, I had a bunch of fat up on top, which I trimmed most of the fat. This stuff's going to render down. This stuff, yeah, this stuff isn't real hard. Uh, remove the silver skin. So yeah, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna season it. Uh, traditional Texas style would be just straight black pepper and, and salt. Um, I'm a Cali boy and, and I like to make that statement. So we're gonna be using it uh, Cali style. So we're gonna use a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. This is just gonna be a little binder. Now, when it comes to beef, as you can see, I go through a lot of this. This is the bottle that I refill every time I need some. This is one part black pepper, basically a cup of black pepper, coarse black pepper, one cup of coarse kosher salt, and a half a cup of granulated garlic powder. This is my beef blend. I stick with this on steaks, um, anything beef, tri-tip, you know, this is, this is what I use, so. Uh, it's a good blend. Uh, I know a lot of people say just, you know, salt and pepper, but you know, that's just what I, what I like, you know? So on the top is where we're gonna focus all our seasoning. To be honest, I wish I could marinate this rib in some Worcestershire sauce and some, some <clears throat> other ingredients, but uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do it a little different. Just, you know, just basic today. So now we're gonna just go ahead and season. Go ahead and give it a pat. Now for the sides. All right, so we have our beef uh, ribs all seasoned up. So I'll see you guys out in the smoker. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on our pit boss and we're gonna set it to smoke. Now we're gonna go ahead and set this to P5. No, no, let's go with P6. We're gonna let this come to temp. So the P setting six, basically what that does is it feeds pellets into the cup for 18 seconds and then it shuts itself off for 130 seconds. But uh, I've been finding that that's a really good setting to get some smoke on your meat. So, uh, I mean, you can play around with it, you know, the different settings, you know, the, high, the lower the P setting, the hotter it's gonna cook, less smoke. The higher the piece setting, more, more smoke flavor, uh, and it's gonna be lower temperature. When you first turn on your pit boss, you're gonna get some really nasty smoke as you see it coming out. But what, it, what ends up happening is, is you know, I guess like a turbine or whatever, you know, kicks in and it starts clearing it out. So you're gonna see it really, really dense right now, but it'll clear out like pretty, really, really short. And then you hear like a little turbine, basically that, that fan kicks in and it just clears everything out. I did some, some steaks on this the other day, so I gotta close this up. Make sure that that's secure.
All right, we're gonna close it up, let it come to temp. All right, so once your smoker comes to temp, we're gonna go ahead and lay down our beef ribs. Now this side cooks a little bit hotter than the left side, but uh, we're gonna get a good smoke on this for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna close it up and let it do its thing. So after 30 minutes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the temperature to 250 degrees. This probe that's showing right here, 230, that's the probe that's over here on the side of the, the, the grill. Uh, and P6 setting, it bounces from 175 to about 200. Um, you know, it's, it's more intended for like a low and slow cook. But uh, yeah, it's been around this, this temperature here where the, where the ribs are. So uh, it's already been 30 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and increase the temperature to 250 degrees and we're gonna let that come to temp and then we're gonna set a timer for two hours. We're not gonna open that lid, nothing for two hours straight. All right, so we've hit our second hour. Take a look at these ribs. All right, we're getting a little bit of pullback. Got a little bit of pullback here. Let's go and check the bark. Bark is nice and set. All right, so I have a little bit of red wine and beef broth in this uh, bottle here. Go ahead and give it a spritz. Just on the spots that are looking a little dry, especially like right here on the side. All right, so now we're gonna check it every hour. I don't want this bark to, to get uh, real crunchy on me, so I wanna just, you know, rehydrate it with a little bit of beef broth and red wine. So we're gonna close it up and we're gonna let it go for another hour. All right, after our third hour, let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, we're starting to get some more pullback. Uh, it looks like I'm probably gonna have to rotate this. Bark's looking really good. You know, we're getting some really good pullback. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down a little bit. It's got a nice color to it. These are coming out pretty good. Again, I'm using uh, beef broth and uh, red wine. All right, so we still got some ways to go. Check back in another hour. The pellet grill is staying real steady around 245 to about 260 degrees. Where I have the ribs at, it's reading about 244 right now. So this pellet grill is actually really consistent on heat and that's about the range that we've been at this whole cook. I might wrap, just really depending on how they look and how they feel. Uh, I might wrap. If, if I don't have a need to wrap and, and, it's, and it's cooking good, then we won't wrap. But uh, I'll give it another hour. So at the four hour mark, we'll kind of see what that looks like. And if it, you know, if it does need a wrap, then I'll, I'll wrap it. So we'll just go from there and uh, see you at the four hour mark. All right, entering our fourth hour. Let's take a look at these ribs. They're doing really good. Doing really good. Starting to get a nice bark on there. Let's go ahead and just spray it just a tad bit. The pullback on these are getting nice. Got a nice pullback here. Not so much on that side, but uh, see maybe when I wrap. I think I am gonna wrap it. But I mean, it's feeling good. I think I could still get this without having to wrap. Get it nice and tender. All right, so we're gonna close it up. Let it continue to do its thing. All right, coming up on our fifth hour. Take a look how these feel. Still got a little bit of resistance. You know, I don't think I'm gonna wrap. These are feeling good. I think I'm gonna just let these go a little bit more. They're getting nice and soft. Just a little bit more time. So, I'm just go ahead and give it a spritz. Starting to get a little dry back there. All right, I'll bring you guys back when they're done. All right, so in our six hour mark, it was looking really close. That's almost seven hours. Let's see, it was just, the sides were uh, pretty smooth. It was right here, it was a little bit. Yeah, that's good. No resistance at all. All right. So I'm gonna take these out and let them rest. Look at that. Woo! All right, I'm gonna go let them rest. All right, so I let it rest for about 20 minutes. I just wanna cut into one of these. 
soft. <laughs> Real juicy. Nice. Pretty decent smoke green for a pellet grill. I'm I'm pretty happy with the, the results of this. It's juicy, it's tender, it's got a nice bark, decent smoke green. Best part, taste test. I think I might have to get my fat pants on for this one because uh, this <laughs> looks delicious. Mm, mm, mm. That has so much to do. That definitely was well worth the seven hours. That came out fantastic. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. That way you see future videos just like this. I have these recipes. They're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.